LRT is the city's number one infrastructure policy right now. It's 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 a it's the number one way that we have to be able to move feed people efficiently in the city. It affects land use. It affects all the things that we want to see happen in terms of of. Uh, being able to create greater density in our city, use the other kinds of infrastructure that we already have more efficiently. I mean, one of the interesting things about about LRT infrastructure is that if you can if you can make it convenient for people to make that choice uh, and use and get off the roads in terms of being able to, to drive to work to get there faster and more efficiently and cheaper, it also frees up that infrastructure for the kind of things you can't do any other way, which is movement of goods and services. So it's a it's a win for everybody involved. Edmonton plays a huge role in Canada's economy. I think all of our cities uh, play a huge role in Canada's economy. They are they are more and more increasingly the engines of that economy, and and to be able to provide the kind of service and be able to attract the kind of talent and the kind of people you need to be able to do that, you have to be able to provide them quality of life and an ease to live in an urban setting and and public transit in this kind of infrastructure is absolutely pivotal to be able to do that. The, the federal government has been very, very helpful, particularly in building the line that we're on right now. This, this south line was built with our gas tax dollars, and we continue to use our gas tax dollars to pay down the debt was incurred to build this. They've also been very supportive in coming forward, as well as the provincial government, in building the Nate line, which is, which is currently under construction. Again, neither of these lines would have been possible without that kind of support.